What's up, guys? Welcome to America Patriot News. Today, I got a video for you guys that has Michael Mance. He's a libertarian, and he went on podcast, and he thinks they are going to replace Joe Biden, but it's going to be with Hillary Clinton. And not only that, Ooh. he says it's if, if it's Hillary Clinton, she's going to win. Okay, this isn't good news. Let's take a look. I think shit's going to get crazy in a way we haven't seen before. Because if he's where he is in the polls now, Trump, where he's leading, which he never led at all in any poll in yeah, 2020, it's like one poll, he's leading in a lot of the polls, things are going to get nuts. And one of the predictions I had is if they pull Biden, their plan B is going to be Hillary. Oh, my God. And she would probably win. Really? Hold on. Hold on. She you... got millions more votes the last time. Well, now, that doesn't count in terms of electoral college. But if I'm starting out with a faster time than you, you know what I mean? And I just got to switch a few thousand, a few states. That's a really strong opening position. She doesn't have to defend Biden. She gets Newsom as VP. So he gets the suburban Oof. white woman vote. She she would go on that debate stage, go, eight years ago, you said I'd be in jail. You're the one with the mugshot. <laughs> Right, and you even you laughed. See, <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Yeah, I just I mean, find her so this... wholly unlikable. I yeah. and I didn't. I don't know one thing or another about Trump. I just thought 2016 to 2020 there was so much fucking debate and everything was such a thing. I, I kind of enjoy the relative peace, even though I don't sure. think Biden's a good president. Hillary, although I just find so Biden corpse or not, yeah. eh, eh, relatively sweet old guy he seems. So as an uninformed guy who doesn't even really vote, to be honest with you, I would be if I had to vote, I'd be like, all right, I guess you just give me the fucking quiet corpse as sure. opposed to the guy who's going to rile everyone up. But Hillary, uh, I don't I'm not voting. Can they even no swap chance. somebody in at this time? Well, if he dies, have, oh, so you're saying incapacitated, but yeah. he could just they could just sit him down. Look, what happened in mentally 20, unfit in, he could, 20, no, in, in 2020 to but, have your name on the ballot. Sure. Like, I'll, I think I'll, you had I, to I can, announce by no. Yeah, I'll explain what happened in 2020. In was, other words, just shut up. Yeah, 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 <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying I'm not saying that. I'm just implying it. In 2020. There's something called Super Tuesday, which is a bunch of yeah, primaries yeah, on the yeah. same day. Yeah. And Klobuchar and Buttigieg got the phone call because Bernie Sanders is leading in every state. They go, it's Biden. They just quit. And They're they like, oh, yeah, stopped. we just Biden. And Biden swept it the next day. So I'm sure someone give Biden the call being like, dude, you're losing to Trump. It's it's a wrap because he, he's the he's a function of the party. He's yeah, he's yes. a party hacker since the 70s. Isn't that the truth? He uh, he is a party man, but. I'll tell you this, what I've seen of Biden in the last three and a half years, he's really super angry when anybody acts like he didn't do things perfectly as president. He takes it personal. And I think that they would have the necessary blackmail to make him drop out, but I don't think he's going to do it volitionally. I think he likes power too much to do it. And not only that, his wife likes the prestige she has as uh, as uh, uh, first lady, even though she wears, you know, shower, uh, curtains. shower curtains and shit like that. But I think he's got a I think he's got a point uh, about switching them all up. I, Hillary Clinton's one of the people I think that is possible now. Replacing that's the only way you could replace uh Kamala Harris. You gotta check one of those boxes. And the fact is if you place if you replace Kamala Harris with uh, Gavin Newsom as vice president, you're gonna lose the African American vote. They're not gonna replace Kamala Harris. She'll stay as vice president. I think he's wrong about that part. But uh when it comes to uh Hillary Clinton, possible. Yeah, I I, I have a hard time seeing how they could remove Kamala. But the Hillary thing seems plausible to me because Biden's going to lose. I mean, every data point out there is telling them if they run Biden, they will lose. So I guess it, from the Democratic perspective, what do you have to lose? You might as well run Hillary again, except for I think that there is a good chunk of the American public who can't stand the Clintons. And I do not think she gets elected. I, I agree with you. I think he's wrong about she'll win. Uh, in my yeah. opinion, uh, she's still disliked. And really, they're going to look at uh, Biden's policies. How is it going to be different with Hillary Clinton? It won't be. You know, right. that, that's a fact. Not only that, 
uh, they've seen also news for uh, especially conservatives and independents about how not only Obama's running the White House, but so did the Clintons. So uh, what's going on here? You could blame on Obamas and the Clintons as well. What's going on in the country? So I think uh, I think that you know it's not a bad move for them to do it to, for them to switch them out. But with Hillary Clinton, I think they're just uh, going to get the same amount of a loss as they were before. Like you and I were talking the other day. We, besides RFK Jr., who they would never endorse, the Democrats don't have one good candidate. Uh, Hillary certainly isn't a good candidate, and um, I think that Biden is a for sure loss. So I full well expect the Democrats to do something, and, and maybe it'll be this, Matt. Maybe it'll be Hillary. Yeah, let's just say their bench is weak. But guys, this is the end of the show. We really appreciate it. Please hit that like button, comment, and share this out to everybody. We'll be live Monday morning at 930 Central Standard. Uh, have a wonderful rest of your weekend.